So why would Brute Bonnet have Pokeball designs if it existed in the past when Pokeballs weren't invented yet? This could just be aposematic coloring, which is usually bright coloring in organisms to say, hey, I'm dangerous and don't mess with me. The same thing could be said about, like, Electrode, Voltorb, and Amoongus, and all those Pokemon that seem kind of backwards to how mimicry should be. Maybe this has some kind of predator that it can scare away with bright colors and certain motions, or it competes with other brute bonnets and these colorations can show how healthy or strong an individual is. Red and white create a lot of contrast, so it could be startling to a Pokemon if it sneaks up on a brute bonnet, and the Pokeball design could just be happenstance. Let me know what you all think.